I'm going to Craig. I'm going to D-Ray, Janice, Lee, James, and Parker. Probably take me 15 minutes the next hour, but I'm going to do it. So when I overbook guests, and overbook calls, I don't even do one thing that's very critical, and that's plug. Folks, you've really come through the last year despite all the attacks. You have provided for us. You have bought the products. You've got great products at the same time. You've done it. And this is the last chance because we're about to sell out and have sold out a lot of great products, but we have store-wide free shipping, 50-75% off, double Patriot points for your next order, and a free gift in every order, and it's a year-end special, so it should end tomorrow. It should end today, but I haven't got the specials yet, <laughs> but it's going to end the next few days, so thanks for your support, but get in there and get some more products. Thank you. We'll be right back. The globalists are trying to set up a private corporate world government that's above the law. If there's any opposition, if there's any independent media, they can call the fact that the emperor has no clothes. They can call BS. It's game over. But if you look at everybody else, like Michael Savage and Rush Limbaugh and Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity, they are all beholden to the networks that are on that could be targeted. There's only two groups in the U.S., InfoWars and Matt Drudge of DrudgeReport.com, that are truly independent. And, of course, they're two of the dominant media forces in the world. It really is amazing. That's why, as we close out 2018, I want to just remind the listeners of the amazing fight we're all in and how far we've come together. Just remind you that you are the power, you're the strength, you're the will of InfoWars. So please spread the links, InfoWars.com, NewsWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, because if you don't spread the articles and the videos, no one else will. We're all in each other's hands. God bless you all and thank you. Culture war to break down society, deindustrialization, to destroy independence, computerization and automation with robots, not to empower humanity, but to remove us from the decision-making process so the globalists have full technocratic, technotronic, technocracy power. And their own admissions. So they're building a world where we're obsolete and where they can dictate total control of us. It's a breakaway civilization move. The other spear on the fork of deindustrialization and of balkanization, divide and conquer, is flooding the nation states with the lowest IQ, most criminal, stupidest people from the third world, not the good people from the third world and then weaponizing them politically once they get here. And everyone knows that. By the way, remember the amazing Desmond that they teach school kids about all over the country who's from New York? Who, since he was like eight years old, has been on national TV as a trans kid. He dances at gay strip bars and the police don't come because it's liberal, so it's okay. He, he talked about LGBTP, the, you know, the, you know, the, the, the pedophilia, and about taking ketamine in a video we played two weeks ago. Coming up next hour, another video that we just found of him with adult gay men looking completely drugged out of his mind with signs behind him talking about taking roofies. That's the date rape drug. I mean, this poor child. This needs to be investigated immediately. So we'll get to that next hour. I want to start going to your calls. Then at uh, about 20 after, Dan Lyman's going to join us with a couple of segments. Our uh, EuroWars.com reporter did a great job over there on, on how they're fighting back against the globalists. They're taking down EU flags all over Europe. They're storming parliaments. They're storming capitals. They're storming elite vacation islands that Macron's on. Top generals are saying he should be arrested for treason. It's on. Like donkey cones, they say. So we're on the march. The globalists are on the run. And they admit that 2018's biggest losers was the New World Order. The global liberal order. It's going to teach your kids how to have sex when they're three years old. These people are going for broke. They're striking back with total censorship and intimidation against those of us that are in the anti-globalist leadership. That's why I cannot stress enough how we need your prayers, for, first and foremost, and we need your support. And, and by the way, I got this news right before the broadcast started, but I wanted to get more details, and I do have more details now. David Knight, 
suffered. Saturday night, a pretty serious heart attack. And he had several procedures done today at 5 a.m. And he got out of surgery and then came out and was stabilized by about 10.30. We had a chance to talk to the family right before I went on air. I've talked to him more now. And the host of the David Knight Show, weekday mornings, 8 a.m. He's worked with InfoWars for almost eight years. He's a treasure. Super smart engineer, patriot. And uh, we hope he gets back in the saddle as soon as possible. But uh, that is certainly uh, the prayers are answered there. He's not completely out of the woods, but he's partly out of the woods, so that is certainly uh, great news. Everybody, thank you for your prayers for David Knight. Really, really appreciate that. show this morning, and I think we're going to have a round table to host until David's back. I know David's going to want to come back, obviously, to make him take off some serious, serious time, uh, because something's got to be done. Now, I want to hit the border a little bit, and then go to break, come back to the calls. crime cartel is using culture war to break down society, deindustrialization to destroy independence, computerization and automation with robots, not to empower humanity, but to remove us from the decision-making process so the globalists have full technocratic, technotronic, technocracy power in their own admissions. So they're building a world where we're obsolete and where they can dictate total control of us. It's a breakaway civilization move. The other spear on the fork of deindustrialization and of balkanization, divide and conquer, is flooding the nation states with the lowest IQ, most criminal, stupidest people from the third world, not the good people from the third world and then weaponizing them politically once they get here. And everyone knows that. Mexico has the highest crime rate in the world. 200,000 people killed the last decade, hundreds of thousands missing. And so we have serious Mexican mafia, MS-13, people that don't care about getting killed, pouring in, human smuggling children. Even the Washington Post had to admit that. And so now you have this illegal alien who shoots this police officer who happened to be Hispanic. And so the left's having a problem, because when a white cop gets killed, they literally in the news say he deserves it. Or a white woman gets shot in the back by an illegal alien, the media you know, says it's okay, and the, the jury lets the guy go. But because this is a good-looking Hispanic cop with a good record that got killed, it's, it's a poster child for how the, half the country's gonna be Hispanic in just a decade. In most areas it already is, it's your country. So trying to make it a race war or bring in the worst criminals in Mexico, that's mainly going to kill Hispanic people. And Hispanic folks know that. But the controlled media tries to say it's all racial. Uh, no, we don't want the worst people out of Mexico. And almost every time I hear about a cop getting shot at or killed, a week later they release the dash cam footage, and it's some crazy MS-13 dude just cop pulls you over trying to kill him. So you watch the sheriff there in California in this county breaking down and crying from Friday, and, and we aired it over the weekend, but I want to go ahead and play this, because remember, Nancy Pelosi said, MS-13 are good people, that we're all God's children. And that's because in many areas, the Democrats are using them as hitmen. Now, I've been told this by the FBI, by the CIA, by the Department of Defense five years ago that Obama was using them. Now it's come out in the news that Democrats locally are using them as their muscle. Because you can just say to a, say a lawyer, an immigration lawyer, oh, this person needs to be dealt with. And then MS-13 gets a message from one of their leaders or one of the other mafia groups, and they kill you, just like Mexico or Nicaragua or El Salvador or, or Guatemala. So MS-13 and these different Latin gangs are the muscle of the Democratic Party. And now they're using Chinese gangs as the muscle against Asians. Democrats are a criminal 